We start with the battle over a controversial plan in Santa Clara County. It's over a sand quarry project on what some consider sacred tribal land. Yeah, tomorrow the public will get a chance to speak out, and as KPX 5's John Ramos reports, it's shaping up as a clash between cultures that spans hundreds, if not thousands of years. So who has a greater claim to the land? A mining company that bought and paid for legal title or a native tribe whose ancestors lived and worshiped here before they were forcibly removed from their home. These hills just off 101 south of Gilroy contain a large deposit of high quality sand from a prehistoric lake bed. A company called Sargent Ranch bought the land to extract the material for construction projects in the South Bay. A unique sand source to supply a, you know, a critical need and, and that was identified that would cause you know, the, the minimal amount of disruption possible. We're, we're in the Managing partner Howard Justice says it would benefit the area to have a local quarry rather than shipping sand in from Canada as it is now. But environmentalists object to the location, saying it's right next to a key migration corridor that wildlife used to safely cross 101. But the loudest objections are coming from a native tribe that considers this to be sacred ground. At this site right here, th this is where the principal site, this is where the principal ceremonies were held at. Valentin Lopez is tribal chairman of the Ama Mutsan Band, which refers to the area by its historic name, Eurostock. His people were forced from the area 230 years ago to help build the California missions, but they still consider Eurostock to be their spiritual home. The Native Americans have sacrificed and, provide, and given enough, and it's time to start to protect their, 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 their culture and their sacred sites. Others are stepping up to help. Just last week, neighboring Gilroy became the fourth Bay Area city to come out against the project. The firestorm of protests has prompted Sergeant Ranch to alter its plans, moving some operations farther away to address environmental and tribal concerns. We're very much uh, want to be part of the process to see some of these issues corrected. Uh, whether it's a cultural center on the land, whether it's some of the land gets set aside for them, we're open for discussion. But there is a huge cultural divide here. Historically, native tribes haven't considered land as something to be owned. We recognize that we have a responsibility to steward and manage these lands, but that we do not have ownership. But yet the perspective that the owners come in with is that they bought it, they own it, and they can do what they want, including destroying it, exploiting it, uh, pro you know, just, 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 just monetizing it and selling it. When the County Planning Commission opens it up for comment on Thursday, they're likely to get an earful. No decisions will be made at the public hearing. Those are expected sometime at the end of the year. In Santa Clara County, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The Planning Commission's public hearing will be held virtually beginning tomorrow at 1.30 p.m.